Look at that amount of redness. That's when you know it's spicy. I need the sauce. You always do that. You like the spices, though. Mm -hmm. What's up everyone? I hope you're all doing amazing. This is David Hoffman from David's Been Here coming at you from super wet South Miami, my hometown. I'm here with my father and dad. What are we doing today? Chinese street food. We're eating some Chinese street food at In Ramen. This place specializes in buns and dim sum and they also have a crazy amount of delicious ramen, unique ramen. I think they have like a short rib ramen. They also have some craft beer. Are you ready? I'm ready. Let's, let's go inside. It. All right, let's go meet Avery. So that's how you make noodles, right? So he beats the noodles, and then you separate it to get the portions. Then you separate it even more to make it into like thin noodles. 12, 15 seconds in the boiling water and it's all ready. We just uh, sip it like this. And that's it. And that's it, that's ramen. This is our uh, dim sum steamer, and uh, it runs pretty hot, so you better be careful when you're putting your hands over it. And uh, pretty much gets everything. All our chicken shumai, pork shumai, uh, dumplings, uh, almost everything else, uh, except for uh, takoyaki and shrimp tempura, everything else is fried. But um, this gets it all pretty good. So that's how you make dim sum. Three, four minutes, and they're steamed. Yeah. Done. Yeah. Um, uh, the rest of our dim sums, like this is why we got our timers here, they take like 12 minutes. So um, depending on like what the table orders, like you know, you can take out the buns first and then take out the noodles so they're not like waiting like 12 more minutes for their food. All right, so we're getting a huge mix. We're getting bao, shumai, edamame, uh, gyozas, parm gyozas, pork belly bun, shrimp dumpling, spicy crab bun, and dab fries. And we're also getting the short rib ramen, right? The number one. Our uh, dried tuna flakes. So, what he did is he steamed the buns and now he's gonna build them. So, what are you making next? We're making a uh, gyoza farm. We have uh, two different types of gyozas chicken and pork. Our chicken gyozas, we do a uh, star formation. So, basically, they're fried. Yeah, pan fried. Yeah. A little bit steamed at the beginning, but the rest are pan fried because you want the inside to get hot. So once it was done steaming, he threw on the Parmesan cheese. And now he lets it melt for a little bit, makes it a little crispy, like almost like a pot sticker, right? Oh, this is gonna be bomb. This is gonna be my favorite, I think. I mean, it just fell off, man. Fell off the bone. We got our broth warming up. Everything's ready on the plate. As soon as it's hot, just come by. Pour it right on top of the vegetables. Wow. And I like this place a lot. I mean, very spacious, as you can see. Love the art on the back. So you have the octopus. Obviously, that's very, like, Japan, right? Lots of stuff like that. Over here we have the guy eating a big ramen bowl. Very Asian, you know, street art Asian feel. Very nice tables and no menu again. Just scan it right there and you have the menu. Oh, awesome. So here we have how many people? So they have signature handcrafted ramen tons. We're gonna go over here to the tapas. All right, guys, here we have it. Woo! Got two buns. You have the Parmesan gyozas. There we have the dab fries. The short rib ramen, which looks incredible. Look at that rib. I mean, it literally fell off the bone as it was pulling it out. And over here we have some shumai. Uh, what else is in there? I think gyoza. Gyoza. All right. 
Oh, and we have a flight here. So we have a flight of three different sakis. It's like a clear one, a, a milky one, and then another one's like a dry one. How do we start? My mouth is watering. I just want to get going. I know, I know. This is like, Let's I'm looking going. at this, I'm like, what is this? Like, this is incredible. Let's try it. Okay. You go first. So how do we do this? I don't know. Go in here and get, I guess you try it I like guess that. try the broth, right? Okay. Try the broth. Oh, wow. Mm, the flavor there. It's amazing. Chicken broth right there. I don't mm -hmm. know what it is, but I, it's I'm pretty so sure it good. is. And then it's so rich. I think what we should do is eat the short rib. Yeah, we gotta get the short rib, get the ramen, everything with chopsticks, guys. Chopstick travel. Whenever you need Asian food, chopsticks. So I'm gonna grab something here. <gasps> get that. Yeah. Yeah, I know. It's gonna like. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> I'm afraid of it. <laughs> nah, it's good. I'm just gonna have to go in here. Hmm. Nice soft noodles. Oh, dude, this feels like I'm in China. Right? Yeah, for real. And right here, short rib. Oh my Ooh. goodness. It's hot. How many hours? Eight hours? Mm-hmm. Oh, wow. It was buttery, so buttery. I think you have to dip it in, right? Let it soak up some of that broth. There you go. Well, it's a little... Uh, Just go up here. Yeah, right? I don't want to just throw it everywhere. Mm. Mm. Unbelievable. Wow. It's very like, I don't know, homey? Homey. Yes, homey? Yeah. And by the way, this is like the, the one thing that is more Japanese. Obviously, ramen is Japanese, but the noodles are from China. Ooh. This is so good. This is absolutely unbelievable. Dude. Now we're really jumping on to Chinese street food. This is what you eat on the streets of China. Buns. Buns are my favorite. My father and I went to Shanghai years ago. Every morning I'd go out and I'd have like the Jing Jing something pancake in Shanghai and then I also flapjack. had... It was a flapjack. It was like a flapjack. And I also had buns. Every day different buns. So I think we start with the pork belly. Good start. All right. Let's grab one. Oh man, look at this. Oh, I love the buns. Pork belly, nice and juicy. Also got some avocado. What else do we have in here? Some sauce. Nice soft bun. I was not going to eat it, but I'm going to eat it. You have to eat it. This is like China, right here. So here we also have some spicy miso, so I'm gonna dip it into this. Look at that. Oh, spicy miso, I put this on everything. You think it's very spicy? I don't think so. You tell me. Baby. No? Perfect? Mm. Just right. Mm. Thank you, bro. Wow. It's spicy. It's spicy. <laughs> it's spicy, but it's good. I'm all about the spice, man. Now, I have a question. We have sake here. We have two flights. What do we have? On the letter ends, those are flavored sake. Over here, we have mango. Okay. And over here, we have white peach. One of the best sakes I've ever had in my life. It's very good. That's premium. Very smooth. So, let's try the next one. Okay, this one? Yeah. This is the milky one. My turn. Oh wow, mm -hmm. it's different, it's silky, it's milky, it's cloudy. Mm. Ooh. I like that one. The next bun is spicy crab. Spicy? Mm. Let's just grab one. Oh, look at this, yeah, it's right? like falling apart. So cilantro, avocado, spicy crab, bun. Bun. I love it. My avocado chunky, salad. It's like chunky crab. Mm. Problems? No. <laughs> it's too good. Dip it. Oh yeah, look at that. Look at that amount of redness. That's when you know it's spicy. I need the sauce. You always do that. You like the spicy though. Mm. I mean, it tastes to another level. Mm. 
And this one, the flavor of that sauce, dude, I can eat like a hundred buns. The problem is buns. But the crab feels so up. fresh also. You mm -hmm. know? So it's like it's like chunks of crab that have been mixed with like spicy mayo. Mm -hmm. And the flavors, so different. Pork belly, crab, and we have so many more. I think there's like four or five other ones. Yeah. Next up, we have the Parmesan gyozas. Parmesan gyozas, I've never seen this before. So basically like pot stickers with Parmesan and they do it like in a star shape. Looks really cool. Mm. Interesting combination, huh? Yeah, so I mean, you have the nice... It deserves a spicy sauce, I think. Yeah, I think it needs some sauce, but it, it's nice because you have the crispy Parmesan on the outside, mm -hmm. mixed with the dumplings. So it's basically having like gyoza with super, super crispy Parmesan. I'm gonna dip it. Let's dip it. I'm gonna get some spicy miso. You okay, too? let's see. It's perfect. Mm -hmm. Perfect combination. Mm -hmm. When you eat Chinese food, you always see sauces. You always have some type of soy-based sauce along with everything. Always. And if you guys don't know, in Japan, they love throwing bonito flakes on everything, so tuna flakes. And what they do is when you put out something really hot, they move and it looks like it's a live animal. Oh my god. I know. It's good though, right? And people like that. Oh, I'm gonna eat it. Mm. I think they're addictive, but I'm gonna quit on them because otherwise no, we're we won't done. eat the rest of them. And I would, I'm gonna leave some of these for later. If I'm still hungry, we'll do that. But I think we should start off with this one right here. Yeah. Which is edamame dumplings. Yeah. Wow. Scrab them. Ooh, these are good. And I love how they bring them in a steamer basket. It's sticky. Yeah. It's sticky. They're always a little sticky. Yeah. Okay. Do we dip it in the sauce or you try it like that first? Uh, try it like that. I'm gonna dip it. I have to dip it. I'm gonna try the other sauce. I'm gonna be mm. adventurous. This is the uh, spicy mayo, right? Mm -hmm. So, you have edamame throughout. This is awesome. Never had this. Small little beans, right? Mm -hmm. Sauce is too hot. So my dad thinks I should try it. Baby, I'm having a hard time not eating. Yeah, right? Please hurry up. <laughs> All right, so I'm gonna try it with oh, wow. the mayo. Mm. It's very good with the mayo, right? It just, it pairs well. Mm -hmm. I mean, what's awesome is, it's a nice twist to a, a dumpling. I've never had an uh, edamame dumpling before. Mm -hmm. Very different. Personally, I would go with spicy miso over yeah. spicy mayo. I just love the flavor more. The miso. Oh my god, what do we have next? This first one here is chao su bao. So it's just one. This one's a little different. We're gonna have to break it. We have to break it, no? Yeah. Manually? So say like that. We have to share, right? Ooh. Yeah. I hope you want to share. Oh, this is the best. Ni hao. Ni hao. Ni hao mai. Ni hao mai. Hen hao. Oh, no, no, no. I love it, man. It's always sweet. That's the best part. Right? Sweet pork. Remember when we ate these in uh, Shanghai? Mm -hmm. And I just filled it on myself, like the whole thing just came out. <laughs> we ate, I think, like stuff like this, like buns and dumplings. Every day. Every day, like. I say I had like 10 or 20 a day. Every day? Yeah, because there's like two here, three a year, and it's super cheap on the street. That's the best part. So this one's done. Okay. And now we have chicken shumai. Oh, there's more, my God. Chicken shumai, look at this. Beautiful. And this one, you could either put it with some soy sauce mm. or a little. Okay. Yeah, it's very sticky. <laughs> so what do we do? Soy Not sauce? straight. No? Like very compact. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Nice filling. And by the way, this is called dim sum. All this. When it comes like this, small portions, you know, two, three, one. Dim sum. Dim sum. Yeah. They usually give you two or three. Depends on. Depends. Sometimes they give you five. But it just depends. You, you order one. I think it's great, but I think the next one you're going to love because this is the shrimp dumplings. Ooh. The shrimp ones are my favorite. Oh, these are like okay. So for this one, you, sauce. Yeah, I'd say which throw one? In. I'm going with my favorite. Your favorite? Uh -huh. Yeah. I'm just dipping it here. 
You can allow that sauce right there. Let's Straight. see. Okay. Mm. The heavenly, best. heavenly. That's really good. Super soft, big piece of shrimp inside. Mmm, with the spice. And that's it, huh? Oh no, we have some more sake. Oh, cheers. Cheers. Mm. All right, so to finish it all off, we're having a custard bao. So basically a super creamy filling bun. That's it, that's all what right. you eat in China for dessert. This is how you do it. Just break it in half. You see the custard right there? Okay. Delicious. Wow. Which piece you want? Small one. All right, you ready? Ready. Cheers. Oh, big piece. Hot. Mm -hmm. Very hot. Mm. Nice and creamy. Soft. I mean, it's dessert, right? It's like a hot dessert. Melts right into your mouth. Yeah, it's very interesting. It's different. I mean, that's what they eat in China for dessert. That, and then they do a lot of red bean. So, like red bean paste in everything. Not everything, but you know, always in about. And yeah, guys. So that's it. We had Chinese street food. We had a little bit of Japanese in in ramen in South Miami, Florida. Everything was delicious. I love seeing the whole process, how they make the noodles, and then steaming all, you know, all the buns, the shumao, shumai. So basically, all the dim sum, making the buns. What was your favorite? Definitely, the ramen. The ramen. The ramen was amazing. I gotta say, I mean, I love the buns. The buns were the buns, great, also. The buns, just having buns, is almost like Chinese tapas in a way. Correct. You know, small bites. If I if I get an order of like three of those, six in total. That's it. But from the buns, which one do you like the most? Oh, the pork belly. The pork belly, right? The, the pork belly. Sorry, the pork, pork belly. belly. The pork, pork, pork belly. belly was amazing. But I love the ramen, the broth, the beef broth from the ramen. To die for. To die for. To die for. So yeah, that's it. That's it. You enjoyed it? I loved it. <laughs> All right, guys, so I hope you love this video. If you did, please give me a thumbs up. Leave me a comment below. Subscribe to my channel for more awesome travel content. We'll see you in the next travel food adventure in Miami. Peace.